Hello. In the previous lesson, we have discussed the automatic relations. Now, in this lesson, we are going to take a look at how manually add relations to a sketch. So, let's begin. First, we need to go into a new sketch. So, I'm going to select the sketch icon and then the front plane. Next, I will select the line tool and start my line at the origin. I'm going to pull the line straight up and notice an automatic vertical relation is being applied. I left mouse click and we receive the automatic vertical relation. Pull the cursor straight to the right, I receive another relation, horizontal. And now in this direction here, no automatic relation has been applied. And then an automatic vertical relation and back to the starting point. I receive a horizontal automatic relation and a coincident relation. Now, what is coincident? Coincident is when two pieces of geometry share the same point. Now, what we have here is a simple sketch with five automatic relations, two horizontal, two vertical, and coincident. Now, let's say, for example, we have a need to move this point here to the left. So, if I hold the left mouse button, notice it is not stretching to the left, simply up and down. The reason it doesn't stretch to the left is because of this vertical automatic relation. Now, let's say we want to stretch this to the left and we want to keep these two lines perpendicular to each other. Notice the automatic relations we have added don't do that for us. They keep them perpendicular to each other, but don't allow us to move this point to the left. So to correct that, sometimes it is necessary to delete the automatic relations, and we do that by selecting them and then tab the delete key on the keyboard, and then manually adding relations as needed. So. I'm going to add perpendicular relation between these two lines here. First, I'm going to hold control key, select one line, then select the other line. And notice, a property manager appears. In the first window, it shows the geometry we selected. In the second window, if there is existing relations between those two lines, they would show up in this window here. And right below this, Here's some of the relations that we can add. Horizontal, vertical, collinear, perpendicular, parallel, equal, and fix. Notice, perpendicular is highlighted because software thinking that is the relation we want. And since it is, I'm going to select it and notice the perpendicular relation has been added to the screen along with in the window here. So. I'm going to close the property and now notice when I hold down the left mouse button I can drag the point to the left and those two lines remain perpendicular to each other. Another relation is equal. If I hold the control key I can make this line and this line equal to each other. Notice when I do that I see three pieces of geometry which is not correct. So I'm going to click right mouse and clear the selections. So I'm going to hold the control key again and reselect. And now I see the correct geometry in this window. Notice a perpendicular relation exists between those two pieces of geometry and notice my relations. I can add an equal relation. So now these two lines are equal in length to one another. So. As I move that around, notice they remain perpendicular and equal. That equal relation is very handy. When you have several fillets in the sketch, you can make the fillets equal to one another, the same if true with the circles. So, before we close out of this lesson, I want to summarize. When you first create a sketch, automatic relations are applied. Now, it is sometimes necessary to delete some of those automatic relations and manually add new relations. Or other times, all the automatic relations work for you, but you still need additional relations in the sketch, and you can manually add them based in the steps 
that we just covered. So that was all for this video. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to get more. Have a nice day and until the next video.